everyone, let's get started. I was asked by several viewers on how do I go about creating my sheet bundles that's located in my guest linen closet. And also, how do I go about folding my towels? So that's what the video is going to be about today. I'm gonna to start with the sheet bundle first. The sheets folds better once they come out of the dryer and it prevents a lot of wrinkles. You will also notice as I begin to fold the sheets that I would be continually smoothing them out and that would make sure that I have a nice wrinkled free smooth product at the end. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold the bottom sheet up toward the top and why the reason I do this is because it's best for me to handle it this way. There's two ways that you can fold a fitted sheet. You can do it standing or you can do it on a flat surface like I'm doing here. I think if I did it on a flat surface, you would be able to see what I'm doing better instead of standing and giving instructions and folding at the same time. So, so I folded the sheet up toward the top part of the sheet. So now we have the bottom two sheets here and the two top sheets up there. We're gonna start on the right hand side and we're gonna look for the corner pocket. Once we find the corner pocket, we're gonna slip our hand in and turn it inside out and you'll be able to see the seams from here. You're gonna take this pocket and tuck it into the top pocket, making sure that the corners meet, tuck it as far as you can, and then just let it lay. We're gonna do the same thing on the left hand side. Look for the pocket, Turn it inside out, where you see the seams. Take the top pocket and slip it in all the way until the two corners meet, and then just let it lay. Now we're going to work our way from the bottom up. So we're going to straighten out the sheet so it will fall naturally here. And you want to get out all the wrinkles and make sure there isn't any sheets that's tangled underneath. Once you've done that, you're going to take the top elastic piece and then the bottom elastic holding them together and you're going to take your hand and shove the rest of the sheet up in here. Making sure that there is no extra material gathered up in the corners and on the side. Should be a nice, smooth surface. There. There you have it. Now you have the half sheet with the bottom pocket tucked into the top pockets. So now you're gonna to go to your right and take the two pockets, turn it inside out, and you're going to bring it over to the left-hand side and you're gonna tuck this into the pocket over on the left-hand side. Make sure it tucks all the way in. Work itself from the bottom first up toward the top. Smoothing out the wrinkles, any excessive gathered material here, smooth it out. And then you take the elastic pieces, put them together, and shove the rest of the material up top. And it should fold over naturally. There you have it, a nice little square. Now you have all the corners on one side, the elastic at top, the elastic on the side, flat surface on the right side and the bottom. Okay. Now that that's done, you take the top part and you fold it over. 
Now your bundles will determine on the size of your fold. If you want a large bundle, you will fold it larger. If you want a smaller bundle, you will only fold it on a small scale. So it depends on your preference and how it fits in your storage area, be it your linen closet or drawers or what have you. Since this is going back in my linen closet, I pretty much know what size I like for it to be. Okay, so now that it's smooth out, you take the bottom and you fold it over. Now you try to get this as flat as possible. There's a lot of material here. So the flash you can get it, the better it would be when you fold it into your bundle. So now you have a nice, flat, horizontal fold. Starting on your elastic side, you will fold it in half. See how smooth that is? Nice and flat. Starting on the flat side, you will fold it in. So now it looks like a big band-aid, I guess you could say. <laughs> then you take the flat again and fold it over. Now you shouldn't have that many wrinkles. If you do, you can, you can straighten them out here. There you are. Now see, nice and smooth. We took out most of the work by smoothing as we fold. And there you go. Okay, I was hoping I really didn't need to show you how to fold a flat sheet. That's pretty simple, really. Only thing to remember is when you're doing your folds, um, keep in mind the size of your fitted sheet so they would lay on top of it nice and um, evenly as a nice uh, stack. Now let's move over to the pillowcase. I fold my pillowcases two different ways. The first pillowcase is I fold it in half. And then I fold it upwards in half. And then I fold it again in half. The next pillowcase, I fold it a little differently. I fold it in half horizontally and then fold it in half again. Now how I assemble my bundles, I take the fitted sheet and then the pillowcase, I put it on top and then I take my flat sheet and lay it on top of the pillowcase, there's a nice little stack. Then I take the next pillowcase, put it across the stack and then tuck it under. And that's my bundle. Everything is in one place. I don't have to look for it. I'll put a tag on top saying what size sheet it is. And there you have it. One nice sheet bundle. When I was younger, I used to work in a department store in the linen section, and they taught us how to fold towels. So now I will show you. First, you're going to fold your towel in half. Now the, the uh, rules still apply, just like they do for the sheets. As soon as your towel dries, take them out of the dryer so they won't be wrinkled, they will be nice and fluffy. Now that you fold your towels in half, you see that I turned the towel around, so the design is faced on this side. And then what I'm going to do 
On the folded end, I'm going to fold in once. Almost halfway, but not exact. And then I'm going to take the design end and I'm going to fold over that. Then I'm going to fold upwards a third of the towel and then I'm going to fold all the way to the end. Now you should have something that looks like this. Now to create my little towel bundles here. You have the design going down the center. Design going down the center here. And this is how it looks when it's folded and put in the linen closet. Now if it comes with hand towels and a face towel, what I normally do is I take the hand towel and I fold it in half. And just like the large towel, I fold it almost center and then fold it again. So now it looks like that. And then I fold it in half. My monogram towels, I fold it in thirds. So the monogram shows on the front, like so. Then I take the set, put the two towels together, put the hand towel on top, and then take the monogram towel and just lay it on top, like so. And this is how it looks in the linen closet. I hope I've given you some tips on how I fold my sheets and towels. If you have any other requests on how I manage my home, please don't hesitate to ask by submitting an email or just comment below. Until the next video, my friends, smooches!